Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about instantaneous description in Pushdown Automata. In our previous classes, we gave a good intuition about Pushdown Automata. Please watch that class and come back here. The same example we are going to discuss here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, instantaneous description is an informal notation. It's an informal notation that explains how a pushdown automata computes the given string. How the pushdown automata computes the given string that is given using an informal notation. Anyway, you will understand it with an example. So this is the definition. Before going into the class of instantaneous description, uh, uh, let's refresh the concept uh, which we discussed in our previous classes. Uh, given language L is equal to A power N, B power N, N greater than 0. For this language, we constructed a push down automata on Q0 state. If you see the input symbol A, input string A, comma, what's the second symbol shows? Stack top. What's the stack top? Stack top Z means the starting symbol in the stack is Z. That's why A, if you see the input symbol A and the stack symbol is Z, we are going to push A into the stack. That is what the push operation is shown like this. A, Z means the top two symbols in the stack is A, Z means we already, we are going to push the A onto the stack. Previously on the stack, we are having Z symbol. If you push A, what's the two symbols that remain on the stack? A, Z. This is how push operation is mentioned on the push down automata. The same way, A, if you see the input symbol A and the stack symbol is A, we are going to push A onto the stack. What's the two elements that are present on the top of the stack? A, A. Whenever it mentioned like this means a push operation has been done. The similarly, if you see the input symbol B and stack symbol is A, epsilon. Epsilon means empty string. There is no string on stack top. We are going to pop the string that are present on the top of the stack that's why it's showing epsilon on the top of the stack there is epsilon so it meaning of this is pop operation uh, similarly if you see the input symbol b on q1 state if you see the input symbol b on the top of the stack is a we are going to pop the a symbol the symbol that is present on the top of the stack uh, which is uh, that's why it showed as uh, epsilon and one more operation is there what's no operation is there it's shown like this on q1 if you see the input symbol epsilon and the stack top is z the stack remains the same that's why the on the stack uh, we are consisting of uh, the symbol z no operation the same symbol has to be mentioned here we are moving to qf state means final state final state is having a uh, two circles uh, this is how push down automata we will mention the push down automata coming to the instantaneous description of push down automata is defined using a triple instantaneous description is defined using a triple q w and s Q means current state uh, on what state we are standing now that is what current state means W means uh, remaining input uh, how, how much input has been processed and what's the remaining input uh, and S means current stack content uh, what's the content that is present on the stack that is what shown using a yes uh, take an example on this push down automata on this push down automata instantaneous description of q naught uh, the input string that considered is uh, a a a b b b comma stack content is initially z this is how we show the three states uh, the three conditions are uh, this is the state on which state we are having uh, input string and the stack content uh, if you want to process how we process that uh, take the first input symbol what's the symbol is a if you apply on Q0, Q0, if you take input symbol A and the stack top is Z, what we are going to do? We are going to push the A onto the stack. So that's why we are staying on st same state Q0. That's why Q0, A, A, B, B, B. We push this A onto the stack. The stack content consists of A, Z. That is what the third position says is uh, the content of the stack. Same way. Now take the second input string. If you see the input uh, stack input is a uh, stack top is A. We are going to push the A onto the stack and we stay on the same state Q naught. That's why Q naught A B B B A A Z. Now take the third input character. It is A. If stack top is A, we are going to 
push the element a onto the stack and we stay on the same state that's why b b b a a a z now coming to that take the input symbol b if the stack top is a we are moving to q1 state and we are popping the element that is present on the stack that's why a is removed and b is removed b b a a z b is removed means it's the input that's already processed what's the remaining input b b that's why it's shown as b b we are moving to q1 state and on q1 state if you take the input symbol b and if the stack top is a we are going to pop that's why b comma a z on q1 if you see the input symbol b and stack top is a we are going to pop the elements that are present on the stack and the input is epsilon stack contains a z if the input is epsilon and stack top is z we are moving to q of state and stack contains only z this is how instantaneous description is shown the processing of the string on the push down automata Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.